Hey everyone, welcome back to Code in Motion. Today we're looking at LeetCode problem number 141, linked list cycle. Given head, the head of a linked list, determine if the linked list has a cycle in it. So if we take a look at this example, 3, 2, 0, negative 4, negative 4 points back to node 2, so this has a cycle in the linked list. This example also has a cycle, 2 points back to 1, but in this case there is no cycle. First, I want to discuss the non-optimal solution that I think most people will get at their first try. The idea is to store all the nodes that you see in a hash set, and then at every iteration you check if you've seen the node before. If you have, then you detected a cycle. If you haven't, then you continue iterating through the linked list. If you reach the null pointer, the end of a regular linked list, then you know you haven't seen a cycle, so you return false. But if you do see a node that you've seen before, you return true, indicating that there was a cycle. So over here, you see that after node 1, I'm going to go back to, to node 2, and node 2 is in my hash set. So I've seen that before, and now we could detect that we've seen a cycle, and we return true. Now, the problem with this is the time complexity is pretty optimal. It's O of n. We can't beat that because we have to iterate through the array once. But we're using O of n space. We're storing all the nodes in a hash set. So now the question becomes, can we beat that? Can we do better than O of n space? Can we use constant space? So as it turns out, we could solve this using constant space using the slow and fast pointer technique. This is one of the famous patterns with linked list problems in order to optimize space complexity. So it's really good to understand this strategy in case you see other linked list problems where you're trying to reduce the space complexity. The slow and fast pointer, the idea behind that is that you move the slow pointer one element at a time or one node at a time, and you move the fast pointer two elements or two nodes at a time. And so let's see how that looks. We're going to move the slow and fast pointer, so let's move the slow pointer by one, and the fast pointer is going to move by two. Right? And we're going to continue this process. So the pointers did not meet, so move them again. Slow moves once, fast moves twice. Now the idea over here is that if this was a regular linked list, eventually the fast pointer, or fast.next, will reach the null, the null case, right? The null pointer. And in that case, we stop the algorithm because we know we don't have uh, a cycle. However, if we do have a cycle, it's guaranteed that eventually the slow and fast pointers will collide. So let's see that. The slow pointer is going to move to negative 4, and the fast pointer is going to move to node 0. And now they don't meet. So once again, slow is going to move to 1, and fast is going to move to 1 again. And so you see they collide in this case. And so now we, we detect that there was a cycle because they collided, and we return back true. This algorithm runs an O of n time complexity, but constant space, because we're only using two variables, a slow and a fast pointer. All right, so let's start out the coding implementation. First, I need to initialize the variables, right? So slow is equal to head, and fast is going to equal head as well. Now I'm going to say while fast and fast.next. Now we have to be really, really careful here with the fast pointer. Usually for linked lists, we just say while the pointer is not null, right? But since we're moving fast twice in a single iteration, we need to ensure that fast.next is not null either, because we're going to be using fast.next.next, and you'll see this shortly. So we're going to move slow by one, so slow is equal to slow.next, fast is equal to fast.next.next, because we want to move it twice in a single iteration, and now you see why we need to make sure that fast.next is not null either, because we're using fast.next.next. And if this was null, we would have a null pointer exception over here. Now we're going to check if slow is equal to fast, then we have a cycle. So return true. Else, that means eventually we're just a normal linked list and we've seen the null pointer. So there is no cycle. Return false. Let's run this and make sure that it's successful. And there we go. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in more content like this and the Blind75 list, be sure to subscribe and like the video below. It truly means a lot to me. I'll see you in the next one.